Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 2. As per usual, you're just, just jumping on in here as I stumble over my words like a jackass. So today we've got to, I guess, kind of continue along the main quest. The first thing we're going to do is pop over to D4 and dive back into Dawn's Cavern. There is an item we need there called the Element Orb. Uh, and then after that, we're actually, I think, going to do some time traveling. So, yeah, it won't be as exciting as it sounds, I assure you. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip us over to D2 on the surface, because that's where we're going. Go ahead and fly over to D2. OK, so I'm an asshole at the D4. <laughs> Fucking reading is hard. Just don't just ignore me. But uh, we are going back to Dawn's Cavern, which means we've got to navigate through this fucking swamp again. Like I said, I believe that there's a skill you can get that'll let you navigate this with less issue, but laziness. All right. Into Dawn's Caverns. So somewhere in here, there is an item we need. We do not want to take the portal to resort. Uh, I mean, I guess. There are side rooms. The lounge. Minotaurs. Ooh, an earth worm. Some warbots. Warbots, I was gonna say, holy shit! Things going before us, and look at those damage rolls! Woof! Alright, let's go ahead and buff the melees. Um. Throw megavolts. Those warbots are unaffected, huh? Acid, cold fire, electricity, P and S. Shit. Those warbots are nasty. They disintegrate things. Uh, that sorcerer's still up to crap. Um. Ooh, yeah, there's some eradication. Chunk just got absolutely ruined. I mean, coffin creeps also drain our spell points, which we look okay. Go ahead and get rid of those guys. So being eradicated means the only way to get Chunk back is with Resurrection, which I do not think... Eh, I was gonna say, I don't think this is gonna be bad. God, look at the damage those things are doing. Holy shit. If Rove could do, like, Dancing Sword, we'd probably be in a little bit better place here. Um, can she... Yeah, Goldleaf does not have resurrection, alas. Um, really, she's not gonna be good for anything. God, and like, fuck, our party positioning is really bad. Like, it's only Swell and Brunhilda in melee. That is absolutely terrible. Good XP, and a shitload of money. We're gonna botch this, though. Yeah. It's 100,000 gold, and a plus 11 longbow, which is good aligned, of course. Um, what's something this? Seriously now? Seriously now. Fire Elemental, Minor Demons. This actually isn't a bad fight. A lot of Barbarians, they don't frenzy, though, so this is... Tentatively something we can deal with, assuming that my melees aren't fucking dumpster. And of course, Dark Mage has no mana, because why would he? Thankfully, Rove does. All right, this is all up to the melees. Wow. Melees doing what the melees do. Apparently, these barbarians are a lot nastier than I thought for some reason. They're not bad. They've only got 200 hit points. Because Swell wasn't alive to soak all the hits. Uh... Like, we, we can escape from this. I'm just debating whether or not I want to... Nah, we're just going to do this. All right. So, yeah, basically everybody is fucking ruined. Uh, three, two... God, was it C2? I think? Is it middle gate? Yeah, there we go. Let's go res these assholes. Thankfully, we have a substantial amount of money. It doesn't cost much. So, it's manageable. Downsize, it means... Actually, what I should do... I just had an idea. Let's see. 3, 2, to D4. 
If we can get back there again, I'm gonna drop a Lloyd's Beacon, like, on the mountains right next to the place. That way we don't have to walk through the swamp. I'll have... Probably Devon do it. Because Rogue and Dark Mage are much more important. Alright, D4. Be nice if we could just teleport. I understand why we can't, but it would be nice if we could. Alright, Devon... 2, 6, and set. There we go. In we go. So yeah, I guess this place is like no fucking joke, and I don't think we can teleport in here either. High five, yeah. Slasher's Croman Cron Man trap. I have no idea what that is, but it explodes. Uh Slasher's assassinate and they're undead. Oh, that's easy. Warrior boars are not a threat at all. This crown man trap's gonna get the shit kicked out of it if I could get our melees going here. Um, I'm just gonna fireball these guys. Oh, not affected. Resistant to piercing B and S. Alright, I know how I'm gonna kill it. I just need to wait for Rove. It's not immune to implosion! Few things are! Sickle plus six, padded armor plus seven, neither of which is useful to anyone. <sighs> Same fight? No. It's just as fucking bad, though. Those court mages are nasty. They super shock, monster mashers disintegrate, and they have a death touch. Griffins petrify you. Oh, this is gonna be fun. God, it wouldn't be so bad if, like, more than just my front row were in combat. Alright, so, we've got some fire resistance floating around on the court mages. Um, God, those monster mashers have 500 hit points. Which sucks, because they disintegrate people. <laughs> like, the super shocks, we could tentatively survive, so... I'm gonna throw protection from elements. Drog, you can't do anything. Dark mage... I'm gonna have him disintegrate or implode one of the monster mashers. I'm gonna have Rove implode the other, because with elemental resistance, tentatively, we should be able to survive. And I'm actually gonna have my front rows focus on the court mages. Okay, because yeah, there's two of them, and I don't think that with a shoot super shock, they're gonna deal a shitload of damage, I expect. But I don't think they're gonna. Oh, thank you for resisting. You may die now. Okay. Yeah. 176 damage on that super shock. Woof. Thankfully, it's single target. I wasn't particularly ru ru ruined. I wasn't particularly worried, but you gotta be careful about this stuff. All right. Uh, and we'll just start throwing mega bolts, and these should chew through some stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have Devon shoot the Griffin, Swell fight the Griffin. Uh, and these guys are actually both just kind of trash mobs here. They can't really do anything. Wow. Only 25,000 gold for that. Only, only 25,000 gold pieces. He barked upsettedly at the enemies. Alright, so not an encounter here. Mutants, Windmares, and a Minor Devil. Um. Look at that stats, this isn't anything crazy. I mean, the Minor Devil's Fireball, but... Uh, we can get protection from elements up. And we have, actually, the melees are all ready to go here. Are they... They are not resistant to electric. So the Minor Devils are probably all going to be dead before they can act, if I had to guess. Yeah. And yeah, these things just throw energy blasts, which is not a threat at all. Broadsword plus four, scale armor plus three. Nothing. Nothing. Ugh. Fucking slain. Playroom. If I were an elemental orb, where would I be? I don't fucking know. Spa. What is... Play it sure. Uh, yeah. 
minorly dangerous. Some assorted resist. Yeah, as I say, those missile riders are fast. I was again not expecting the the sorcerer to be going first, considering we got like. Oh wow, the Mist Rider and the Sorcerers have speeds of 70. That is ridiculous. Alright. Let's uh just start with the Mega Volts. Wanna have Devon actually fight instead of shoot because he's gonna do more damage. Swell. God, swell fucking brutalizing that Mist Rider alongside Brunhilda. Even Chunk getting in on it. I should have had. Alright, I need to kill this elemental or it's gonna actually yeah. I need to kill this thing or it's going to kill a gold leaf. Um I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna implode it. That was stupid on my part, and these things are just like kinda trash mobs. Alright, one six on gold leaf. There. Alright, so she's back in the fight and my melees can just mop up here. But like, I'm liking this, because it's like, we're obviously very powerful, but we, we have to approach these fights carefully. And that's what I like about this game. A plus 11 large knife. What is that? Evil! That's what. Fucking alive. Oh my god, these random encounters! Can I run? No, of course not. Again, it's like, everything has AoE. Like, the only thing here that doesn't have some form of AoE is the White Knight. Acidic Blob Spray Acid. Snapping Spores Explode. Frost dragons are, you know, breathing cold, obviously, and the fire elemental breathes fire. Shit. And, of course, only my front two guys are in melee, and, like, all of them are. Thankfully, we have pissed-off spellcasters in the back row who are having none of this bullshit. Alright. Yeah, these things aren't. I'm just gonna auto-attack through this. This isn't bad. 105,000 gold, though. I'll take it. I mean, if nothing else, it's paying for us taking naps. Okay. That makes worse. Dark Knights. Dark Knights drain levels. I don't know if that's permanent or not. If it is, I'm gonna be fucking salty. They've got 700 hit points and a speed of 80. Wow. That is some impressive violence. Okay, power cure on Swell. Drog. Um, fight that Dark Knight. They have missile attacks, they do have missile attacks. Holy shit, alright. Um, power shield. That will help us greatly. What's these things, ACs? Uh, AC 60. Wow, these things are gonna... These these Dark Knights are very dangerous. Okay, alright. I'm gonna have Devon start working on these snapping spores. What kind of resistance is... They look like they are resistant to just about everything as well. Uh, Swell, can you get one? Yeah! Swell ain't taking any of that shit. Oh god, there's a mosquito in here. Oh god, it's one of the big ones. Nah! Did I get it? No. Shit! It's escaped. Now hovering. This is this is now the mosquito stream here. We're here to get that Dark Knight. God damn! I think still got 350 hit points left. If it were one, I'd be like, yeah, okay, this is gonna be a good fight. Aw, oh, chunk, fucking that thing's day up. Okay. Um. Let me. What spell books? What spells? He has 9, 1, and 9, 2. So it is Implosion and Inferno. What is Inferno? Like, I want tentatively some, like, good group damage that isn't mega, although they're probably immune to fire. Inferno would work. 1 to 20 points of damage per level of the caster, which. This is between. Yeah, what level is he? I think he's, like, level 29? Yeah. So. Almost 300 to 600 damage. Or no, it'd be. 30 to 600 damage. I think no. Yes, no, yes, yes. That's a hell of a variance there. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna have him just try to implode this 
freaking thing. He's gonna be able to. The thing's only got 100 hit points. I'm gonna have him do it on F. Start softening him up. I'm surprised the I was gonna say, I'm surprised the snapping spores aren't exploding. God, look at that damage. Woof. It wouldn't be as bad if they didn't have archery, but they do. Holy fuck. Alright, um, Brunhilda? They're not Brunhilda, Goldleaf. I'm gonna have her fiery flail one of these spores and just kill the stupid things. Alright, we should be able to kill... God, if drug... He hit that thing seven times for 17 damage. Shit. Alright, another implosion going out. I'm just gonna try to soften him up here. Kill that other snapping spore. Swell kills one. Brunhilda. Oh! One hit point left on that thing. Such a waste. Chunk only hit it once. Jesus. I would say people are probably going to start going down now if I had to go. Wow! Our melees are, are showing their metal here by actually telling these guys to get fucked. Alright. Uh, draw play the Cavalier. You can hit it. Alright. Another implosion. Not affected. They've got some resistances going. Alright, things got 38 hit points. I'm gonna have Brunhilda attack the second one because Chunk. Oh god, Chunk. There we go. Rove got it. Yeah, these weird bats are. I was gonna say, yeah. F fuck. Like, it's saying they're doing 170 damage and stuff, but I don't think our health is going down that much. I think that's, um. Power shield kicking the damage down substantially by the look of things. One six on on. Keep everybody in three digits here. Okay. Um. These things are just resistant to everything. I'm gonna just have him try a dancing sword. Oh, nice. Good dancing swords actually pierce resistances and stuff. Nice. So that fight, look at this munificent sum. We made 25,000 gold pieces off of that. That's it. That is probably the most dangerous fight that as a party we have been in in this entire game. Just keep that in mind. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna auto-attack these guys. I don't even care. Um, so... There's gotta be a secret. I don't think we can etherealize through walls in here. If I had to guess, it's probably in Dawn's room. Solid. Alright. What's up, Dawn? You and your enchantresses with their bullshit speeds of 50. Go ahead and throw some resistances. Drog, kill the enchantresses. Dark Mage, just fucking dancing blades them. Shoot Dawn. Enchantress. Alright. Substantially easier fight that way. Okay, let's poke around. Seriously. Ah. Ah! How is this thing... Like... Alright, I mean, I guess... A Bedrago Cleric and a Battered Robber are being used as targets by a group of monsters. Intercede? Sure. That's probably Hirelings. Horned Fiends and Fire Devils. Uh, this should be pretty... straightforward. I mean, the Horned Fiends can petrify us and the Fire Devils cast Fireballs, but I honestly don't serve- I don't expect they're going to live that long. Yeah. Some things that our melees are actually more than capable of taking care of. Some Dove's Blood. The Bloody Cleric, Holy Moly, and his sidekick, the Shifty Slick Pick, pass out before you. Target practice can be brutal. Hire the Hourglass in. Alright. Seriously? No secrets. And salty. Canine creeps. Yeah, these guys don't really look like much of anything. <laughs> Alright, I'll take some easier encounters. That that Dark Knight encounter, that was... That was freaking harrowing. I want to know. Our monsters come to relax. Come on. Top dog kind of lucky dog. 70 hit points, they juggle the party. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
That's okay. They have resistances. Of course they have resistances. Oh, here comes the juggling. Yep. And we'll just auto attack through because like there's... Yeah. Two dead. Gold leaf. Ah, 7-4 on Brunhilda. 7-4 on Rove. And we'll just rest. All right. Fucking hate things that juggle. My room is blanketed with a multitude of various lucky charms. <laughs> Roll in them? More luck to those who are worthy. What does it do? Uh, plus 10 luck permanently to all characters whose luck is less than 50. Alright, so it's... This is our luck enhancement room. The weight room. Hey, we surprised some hill giants. Let's fuck their days up. Sorry, guys. Nothing I really care about. A cloud dragon. Oh, this is... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a looter knife. What does that do? Probably lock picking? No, it's luck. Plus 15. Chunk found it. Can you use it? It is good aligned, alas. Apparently, it also gives you thievery. It says 21 thievery. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether or not that's accurate. Cafeteria Swamp Beasts. They spray acid. Elemental resistance, and then the melees will ruin them. Seriously? Did I miss a secret in any of these other rooms? I don't think I checked the walls. I did not. No. Okay. Last room, the spa. Ooh. Ah. Uh, really, this isn't too bad of a fight. Cursed slayers can curse us, I guess. Tyrannosaurus have 500 hit points. We got some, like, beefy boys here, but... I think our melees will probably make short work of them, and magical death will see to everything else. Except for the paladins, I'm fairly certain they've got some magical resistance. Yeah. Alright, melee's got this. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Nagi not a plus seven. It is evil. Alas. Alright, so we just have the doors here. Giant scorpions, more cursed slayers. Guardians breathe gas. Uh, I don't know what kind of damage that is, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some resistances and pray. They are resistant to everything, so sadly, I think this is going to be mostly up to our melees. I'm gonna see what kind of fuckery these things are capable of, assuming they get to act before my melees have killed them. Alright, they just chose unwisely to attack. The fight was worth like 250 gold pieces. Air Elemental Killer Bees! Some Jousters, Plant Golems. Um... Looking at these guys, the Jousters look nasty. They have an AC of 50. And they have 4 attacks for a D80 and 500 hit points, so they're gonna get imploded. Uh, the Air Elemental and Bees are AoE, so this is not gonna be too bad, I don't think. Famous Last Words, I'm gonna throw Energy Resistance on us just in case. Uh, and draw Dark Mage, implode one of the Jousters. God, that'd be horrible. You're like, you level your lance to charge this asshole that dares invade you while you're in the spa, and all of a sudden you see your buddy just, like, implode upon himself. And that's terrifying. Alright, let's throw a Fiery Flail out here on... We'll hit one of the Night Stalkers with it. And then just Mega Volts. And the melee should be able to... Oh, are these things... They're immune to physical. Alright, slightly more challenging. Not by much. Mostly just a pain in the ass. Let's see, how is Rove looking on spell points? He has 130. These things are totally not resistant to fire. They have magic... I love this, they're immune to physical damage. But they have magic resistance on top of it, because fuck you, that's why. Ah, uh, do you have enough for an energy blast? No. What about a flame arrow? Fuck yeah, Dark Mage. Man, Devon, what can you cast? Seven, three, and four? No. Can you cast a fireball? Three, four, or a lightning bolt? No, you can't. God, Devon, you suck. I could teach him fireballs, I just haven't, because, I mean, really... Swell, can you... Swell can cast Fiery Flail. So, assuming he can get past their magic resistance... Like, Swell can actually hurt them. 
Assuming he can get past that magic resistance. Assuming he can- can you just like implode this fucking thing? Thank you. God. Fucking pain in my ass. And there's nothing. How in the fuck? Like, I'm certain that it's in this back area here, but I have not found a single secret door unless it's behind these fucking leprechauns. Oh, just greedy snitches. Fucking alright. They steal food, and they run away. As we slowly kill them, four hours later... Like, I, I enjoy the concept of, like, these super huge fights, but shit. I mean, they're good gems, though. That's 387 gems for... Yeah, there it is. For kind of a nothing of a fight. Okay, so I think these might be... Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Are these... I think these might be, like, no spells? Yeah. Alright. So my question is then, do the priests, because priests can cast spells, like the enemy priests, do they get to cast spells too? Because if they do, I'm gonna be fucking salty about that. I right, what do boneheads do? Boneheads explode! The boneheads are kinda nasty. Ah, just shoot anything. Eh, they're not doing too bad. Alright. Yeah, we should be able to just shoot these guys down. Yeah. They're beefy, but not that bad. This worries me, I bet. Orb Guardians, okay, so what are these guys? They have physical resistance, which I don't know how I'm gonna get past that. <sighs> they actually have resistance to like basically everything. Um, oh, they take damage. They take damage, which means they die. Is it in the center? No. Oh, here we go. King Kalan's powerful element orb rests majestically upon a decorative pedestal. Do you have what it takes to get it? Yes! You rest the orb from the pedestal and take it for your own. You see an empty pedestal. I guess the only time in this entire game where, well, the like NPC quest aside, where the game world actually reacts to something you did. So who got that? Alright, Devon. Trade item with Rove. Give him that. Rove is carrying all of the important stuff. We gave away all of our fluxers and shit. So let's get the hell out of here. Holy crap. Man, this, this is probably one of the more challenging dungeons that we've, um... Oh! Okay, so this... This is stupid. There are a couple things in this game that you can do that, like... They're dumb. Like, they're just dumb solutions, and this is one of them. It's so, like, the orb denies us exit, right? We can't, we can't leave, so what do we do? Well, we go to Rove, we trade our item with Dark Mage. We give Dark Mage the elemental orb, and then we dismiss Dark Mage. And now we can leave. And so now, we Town Portal, back to Middle Gate, go into the inn, we like poke around, we're like, Hey Dark Mage, how you doing buddy? He's like, I'm cool, let's, let's get out of here. And look at that, I have the elemental orb because... <laughs> I am apparently capable of doing that, and that's like, that is the intended solution to that. Like, it's fucking stupid! But that's just old video games for you. Uh, regardless though, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and call this here. This was a good bit of progress, and now we can start talking towards, walking towards, I should say, getting the um, water discs and stuff. I think we have to go back and talk to Queen Lamanda first though, so we will do that next time, and then, uh, then we're gonna do some time traveling. So, I hope you guys had fun, and I will catch you next time. Until then.